is a young American on his first trip to Japan. He finds that customs and manners here can be quite different from those back home. How can he make sense of them? Sense of Japan. Welcome to Osaho Dojo, a place to learn about Japanese customs and Osaho, or etiquette. The instructor is Master Gary, and the assistant is the master's daughter, Koyuki. What will Andy learn today? This is for you, Dad. Oh, thank you. So, how was your trip? The trip was awesome, but there were a few things I wasn't quite prepared for. Andy went on a trip to discover traditional Japan. At last, I get to stay at a ryokan. I've been waiting for this ever since I came to Japan. Hey, wait, those are mine. It's dinner time. Cool. Hey, isn't this your room? Yes, it is. Andy. Why are we eating in your bedroom? Yeah. Oh, that was great. But I should probably get back to my room now. Sleep tight. Oh, wrong room. Wait. Was somebody in here? Hello? All of those things really surprised me. But they are normal for a ryokan. Hmm. I'd say that's the difference between the type of service offered at a Western hotel and a Japanese ryokan. Pass through the entrance and you feel as if you're at home. That's the idea of a Japanese-style inn or ryokan. Just relax and leave everything to the staff, including the delivery of your bags to your room. Why are we eating in her bedroom? At her ryokan, you often take your meals in your room. Most are Japanese-style rooms that perform various functions from living room to bedroom to dining room. At mealtime, the staff does everything from preparing to serving to clearing your meal. Oh, wrong room. In the evening, the staff prepares your futon so that you, the valued guest, don't have to make your bed yourself. This thoughtful service reflects the warm hospitality you would enjoy as a guest in a Japanese home. You could say that the environment of a ryokan is more homelike than that of a Western hotel. I think they both make you feel at home, but in different ways. That's right. And the whole experience is even better if you have a kind Nakai-san. Nakai-san? The person who takes care of you during your stay in a ryokan, called a Nakai or Nakai-san, performs multiple functions, including porter, room service, and so on. The Nakai-san also has an abundant knowledge of the inn's cuisine. Ask her to tell you about the local ingredients featured in the dishes, part of the pleasure of traveling. A Nakai-san isn't only an expert on the ryokan itself, but also on local sightseeing and much more. A tip to make your trip more fun, make friends with your Nakai-san. I see. I won't be surprised next time. Also, the cost of a one-night stay at a ryokan usually includes two meals. I'd prefer three meals. I get hungry fast. Traveling with you means extra charges. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Oh, my God. If you want to know more about Japan, try staying at a ryokan. It's a great way to experience Japanese hospitality. And another topic takes its place in Andy's Japan Notebook.